Learning some new information tonight about the arrest of a city honors teacher on child pornography charges. This time, the man's accused of recording students with a GoPro. It seems like these arrests are happening more frequently these days, so we want to know what's being done to stop them and protect your kids. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. For the second time in two weeks, the U.S. Attorney's Office announced the arrest of a Buffalo school teacher with what investigators are calling a deeply disturbing crime. Over time, as investigators, we start to believe we've seen it all. But then we get a case like this one. The FBI arrested City Honors Technology teacher Peter Hingston on child pornography charges. A Buffalo school teacher allegedly used a GoPro, GoPro camera to photograph or record female students in a sexually inappropriate way in his class, classroom full of other students. Investigators say when they got a hold of the GoPro, they found several videos of the teacher exposing himself. When you send your kids to school for eight hours a day, you are under the belief that when you put them on the bus and they go to school that they are being protected by individuals who are their teachers in those classrooms. You don't expect a teacher to engage in the conduct of which Mr. Hingston is accused of doing. Authorities say Hingston was calculated and tried to hide what he was doing. But it was multiple middle school students who reported him for his unusual behavior. I commend them for their bravery in coming forward and making known these allegations and their actions uh, have protected uh, other students and future students from uh, suffering these sort of abuses. Kennedy also commends the district for contacting law enforcement and immediately putting the teacher on administrative leave. But unfortunately, investigators say these types of crimes are not as uncommon as we'd like to think. They recognize that they need to achieve a position of trust in order to gain access to the kids. What is your office doing to make sure that these predators no longer have access to kids? Uh, putting them in jail for a very long time. If convicted, Hingston faces up to 40 years in prison. City Honors parents have been informed about who to contact at the FBI if they believe their child may be a victim. Also, additional crisis counselors will be available at the school for the next several days. And we'll have more information on this story on our website. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.